shape. So this guy, he's a super dad. Um, and I'll tell you here, yeah, I think definitely father of the day nominee. Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Jeremy and JP. We're out at Nonsuch Island today, uh, Nonsuch Island, Bermuda, on the 17th of June, uh, 2021. And uh, we've just checked at the Cajal site and the last Cajal chick fledged out to sea last night. So they're, they're all gone and that's the end of that season. However, what's really kicking into gear is the uh, tropic bird or long tail nesting season. And so we're here to check for the first time in about 10 or 12 days or more, um, the tropic bird cam uh, chick. However, that here, uh, the male bird has um, entered the nest to feed the chick, which it's done already, and now it's just sitting there guarding because there's a lot of prospecting going on by young birds that are trying to look for nests of their own, and they have been known to invade nests and kill the chick in order to take over it for themselves. So what I'm gonna have to do, because it's really imperative that I see how the chick is doing at this point, it looks about three quarters fledged, I need to check its weight, is that I'm going to pull dad out first and I'm gonna take a look at him, see how he's doing, what his weight is and everything else, check his band number. And then I'll take the chick out, give that a complete check. Uh, when that's finished, then I'll put the chick back in first and then the, the adult male fo uh, following that. So it's gonna be a little complex, but um, I think we can handle it. So what I'm gonna to have to do first, dad is guarding well. So, so I have to, ah. Yes, I have to wait for him to bite me and basically just immobilize him. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful adult long tail or tropic bird. You can see the tail streamers are regrowing now. Um, usually after a short period of time, they realize that this has happened before almost every year for the last several years. So they realize, okay, there's no real problem with this. So I'm going to put him into a weighing bag now. I think this one right here. Yeah, it's okay. I'll give him a complete check. It's gonna be a rather complex little thing that we're going to have to do with him here, but that's fine. We've done it before. Okay, so that is one. And now it's try to get Junior out. And so what I'm gonna have to do There we go. Uh, here comes Junior. And here's the chick, almost as big as Dad now. Look at that, what a difference from the last time. Uh, it's close to two weeks, so he has turned, he's lost almost all of his lion's mane of fluff around his neck, and um, he's really developing quick. So I'm gonna bring him right up so he can do this fairly quick. And what I'm gonna do first, is just make sure that the male bird is just secure in there, and he seems to be right now. And bring the chick up. And he feels a pretty good weight. Now, obviously, he's just been fed. So hopefully, if he's around about, you know, 380 to 400 grams or more, is fine. I don't have to worry and I don't have to give it any supplemental feeding at all. The chick is going to be the first order of business and let's see what... Wow! <laughs> yeah, I don't have to worry about this chick at all. I was worried that it was going to be down to like 280 or 350 grams and that I'd have to start feeding it. This is a super dad. Um, he's been doing it on his own for most of, you know, for at least the last month and a half now. And this chick is actually the heaviest it's ever been. Let's see, 500. I just have to. Anything over, say, about 380 grams is healthy. This bird right now is 510. 510, so minus the weight of the bag. This is 22 grams. It's no, no, uh, I think he just regurgitated part of his meal, which I really hoped he wouldn't do. Yep, he did. Okay, but he's still, I mean, he's an amazing weight. Uh, let's say, so three, no, four, 90, 488 grams. That's amazing. So 
So the next big thing is um, to check on the wing cord. Wing cord is at, let's see. Oh yeah, this bird is three quarters fledged. Now it's 206 millimeters, 206. Now they fledge at about 260 to 270, the same as a Cajal. So he's got maybe another two weeks to go at max, right, at the most. So he's, he's getting there. Okay. Now I will check his tarsus, which should not have changed much at all. His, his band is just from being in the nest, it's pretty mucked up, but that will just come right off in the water because it's a, it's a corrosion uh, resistant alloy. Okay, let's see. So Tarsus is, yeah, it's growing just a tiny bit, 27.1. So that's about, you know, three tenths of a millimeter, 27.1 millimeters. Okay, and last but not least is the bill. I'm so sorry that you lost a bit of your meal, but it looks like not all of it. So yeah, the bill has grown quite a bit. And you can see the bird's quite calm because it's fairly used to this. Uh, wow, yeah, the bill has grown a lot. It's 42.8 millimeters. I think it was 39.5, 42.8 millimeters. And the band number is C1949. So he looks great, um, no issues whatsoever. Um, I, I can't believe it. This one male bird has been doing the work of, of the male and female, the pair together, what they normally do. I think a pair is hard pressed to produce a chick that's as, in as good shape as this. So yeah, I mean, complete success. He, he enjoys the father of the year thing. So he, he could definitely use a, use a present, probably some rest and recuperation after this, but he's producing a beautiful chick. And this chick right now, looking at the length, it's starting to me to look more like a male bird. Um, we won't know for sure for about another week, but I would say looking at the length of the bill now, it's got an unusually long bill for this stage of development. I think this is a male bird. The males tend to have slightly longer, um, more, more developed, more massive bills. Uh, very similar to a cahal, in fact, for that. They won't develop the long tail streamers until they're about a year or two old. They fledge, you see, with these short tails and the more speckled um, plumage, and they won't develop the adult plumage and the long tail streamers until they're, they're about their second year of development, so when they're out at sea. Okay, so I'm gonna put him back in the nest, and then I'll go up and deal with Dad. And okay, look at that. Okay, so we'll go up and quickly get back to dad, who's almost got his way out of the bag. So, okay, so we'll take a look at the weight of the male bird. Often adult birds will lose um, up to nearly half of their body weight while they're feeding the chicks. But this one is maintaining its weight as well. It's, let's see, 400 and 412. So minus the weight of the bag, 12, that'll be, that'll be three. Whoops, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I know, I know. So that'll be 392, 388, 388 grams. So that's actually very, very good for an adult at this stage in the development, 388 grams. Now, while his head is sticking out, I'm going, I'm going to take the chance just to measure the will. Okay, okay. Yeah, and 50, let's see, 53.8 millimeters is the bill. Okay, I'm gonna just turn him around again because he somehow turned himself around in the bag. 
So 53.8. So his actually lost a tiny bit of his bill and, and some of that is just normal wear and tear. 53.8. And wing cord now. And I, I'm not, I've already got the Taurus's length for this bird, so I'm not going to bother. I don't want to stress it out anymore. So let's see. 280. Okay, 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 okay. 284. Yeah, that's exactly what it was before. 284. It's a caser. And finally, just check its band number. And the band is C1506. Yep, so that's the male bird, C1506. So that's the, that is the same bird. I'll tell you, he has been the best daddy ever. Okay, so, so the chick looks in fantastic shape. The, the male looks in fantastic shape. And uh, I'll put him back in here with the chick to make sure. Yeah, the chick, of course, thinks it's going to get fed again because that's what happens when daddy arrives. But uh, yeah, so everything looks fantastic. Um, both birds are doing good. And so we're just going to leave them to recover from that now. It's very hot right now, as you could probably tell. And so it's a, it's a bit of a stress on, on both the person doing the checks and the birds themselves. So at this point, we're just going to leave them there. But everything looks great. And hopefully we'll check it again in the next week. Okay, so Jeremy and JP, I'm coming to you from Nonsuch Island, Bermuda, as other long tails come in uh, to land. Uh, and everybody have a great day. Okay, okay um, just a little reflection after uh, finishing the check on our long tail cam. Um, uh, father and son or more or less because I think the chick is, is a male as well is that I really think that that male bird should be nominated for father of the year because not only has he continued on for nearly six weeks after the female has just mysteriously vanished and we suspect there's been mortality that somewhere out at sea it's died and yeah, that's about the only thing that could force him not to return and so he Normally this means, you know, that the chick is just going to become underweight and won't make it without help. We will have to take it into care and help it. But this bird has not only kept the chick fed, the chick is heavier than average. I mean, the chick is a very, very good weight and the male is still maintaining his weight too. He's still in good shape. So this guy, he's a super dad. Um, and I'll tell you here, yeah, I think definitely father of the day nominee. Okay, <laughs> everybody have a great day and all the best from Nonsuch Island.